giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, Kodash, Tabo, Honest, to the Apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone, and this is Sid, Shalom, Wam, Tadai, and it's out there pushing this security and your truthfulness and this sound doctrine. Real quick, a little short on time. I just wanted, I got it, I, you know, I wanted to, when I see stuff, and, um, you know, and I feel like I want to do a video on it, a lot of times I can't wait until later, I got to do it now, you know, while the spirit is hot, you know, so um, Russian state TV urges Putin to destroy West, destroy the West, says real war, uh, and they say real war is starting, all right, the real war is starting, it's in front of your face, man. Again, I've been doing video uh, since since the last few months. I've been doing video after video on, on stuff like this, man, because it's 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 brewing, man. It's brewing real real fast. You people out there, man, y'all still don't want to get it. Y'all still want to come up to our camps with bullshit, man. So be it, man. You want to come up to us with black only bullshit. You women still out there, you know that strong woman mentality. You know that that that. That strong, independent woman mentality. All that shit is get ready to get ready to get wiped clean, man. I'm a survivor, you know. You all you women out there, I'm a survivor. But yet you can't survive without nine one one, man. Y'all always y'all always do that. I'm a survivor. But the only reason you men and women are in that are in that mindset a lot of times is because y'all either y'all either got that that y'all either think that gun is going to protect you, right, or you think the government is going to protect you, right. A lot of y'all. Rely on the government, man. Right? Every time something something happens, nine one one on the phone, man. The smallest thing, right? Uh, you complain about music. You know, let's say some music is too loud. You complain about you. You know, you call you call nine one one. You know, over some goddamn music, man. Especially you women, right? This stuff right here is real, man. This stuff is happening real, for real, and it's in front of your faces, man. And you know, we out there camp. And people still just walk by, you know, they enjoying their day because we be we be at the inner harbor, you know, so that's like a tourist attraction, right? And even a what he seemed to be Edomite, we don't know, right? But a guy, you know, a guy came up yesterday and he said, Yeah, man, you know, all the you know, you would think you 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 your people reading the Bible telling people what the fuck is going on, and all these people. Thousands and thousands of people just walking by, you know, not inquiring, not even not even worried about what what, what what the heck you got to say. That's the mindset of you people, man. Stuff is real, man. Right? And whether you heal for bit, it's happening. It's happening. Let me get this scripture. Like, like I said, I'm not gonna be real long on this video, a little short of time, man. But I, I got I had to get this out. You know, I want to get this out real, real fast, man. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. And, you know, the Lord said what in Luke chapter 21, verse 36? Watch ye therefore and pray always. What are you doing when you, what, what are you when you're watching over somebody? Ezekiel the third chapter, Ezekiel the 30, 33rd chapter. He set us up as watchmen, man. He set us up as watchmen. And that's our job. That's what, we, that's what we're designed to do. We're set up to be watchmen. We're watching over the flock of Israel, man. Right? We're watching over the lost sheep of Israel, man. Right? By pushing out videos like this, telling you that we in those times, man. We are in those times. We are closer than ever before, man. And the scripture says, says that. That our salvation is, is much nearer than we think, man. You know? Now we, we all see that with, like, understatement. And even how I just said it is, you know... It's an understatement, but for real, man, our salvation is much closer than we think. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. All right, it says, For behold, the day cometh, saith uh, Salakit, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. This is Esau. This is, let me start it. Let me go in order because Israel is the top, the top people of the world, man. This is, this is you wicked ass uh, two thirds, right? This is you wicked ass two thirds. This is Esau. This is all you other heathen nations. Right? Y'all all gonna be stubble, man. Every last one of y'all gonna be stubble. That pride that everybody got. Cause you walk around, man. Everybody got a got a demonic, proud, prideful, evil, depressing spirit, man. It, they're, they're very angry. They're very proud. And you would think, well, damn, if you're angry, 
why the fuck are you so proud? Right? Why are you so proud? Like, why? What's up with you? With these? With this prideful spirit that mainly, and I keep saying that mainly our women have because it's set up on high, right? What are you so? What are, What are people so like? Like uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, you know, um, we was trying to hold a parking spot because the brother was parking, and you know. The elder was like, hey, you know, uh, can you leave some room? Because the guy was trying to get ready to move up, but the, but the brother was parking. So, you know, the elder, you know, told this guy in the van, he was like, hey, man, can you, you know, can you leave a little space? And he said, hey, man, appreciate it. You know, guy got out. Elder was like, hey, man, how you doing, man? You know, it was, you know, kind of greeted him. Like, it was, you know, what's going on, man? And, you know, the guy kind of just mugged him and shit like, yeah. you know, and just say, hey, man, you know, you know, like that little... Like that little grimy ass nod shit, you know, it's just a little nod and mugging and shit, man. It's like, man, why the hell are people so goddamn angry, man? You know, and well, we know why, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, but it's like, we know why, but these people don't know why. And we tell them why, but they don't want to hear, right? They don't want to hear stuff like this. You don't want to hear that this place is going down, man. They don't want to hear that. Look, man, you better get right before it's too late. You better get right before it's too goddamn late. Because them doors of mercy are shutting, man. The doors of mercy are shutting. This is this is this is plain as plain as day, man. Clear as day, man. How much more how much more plain can you get? Trump already talked about World War Three. Everybody talked about World War Three now. Like I said, a couple few years ago, everybody was, you know, everybody was in that spirit. Even when I was in school, everybody was like, uh, no, nah, ain't no such thing as World War Three, or so and so was World War Three, so it already happened, right? And you know now, I, I I still can't believe I heard that. You know, yeah, World War Three already happened. All right, you know, but that was one of the things I was hearing. You know, a whole lot of stuff I was hearing about about World War Three a few years ago, right? Which at that time I was in the truth, but I was I was so young, I was in school, you know, but. Um, you know, World War Three is this. World War Three is that. Now, what was happening? Now they say World War Three is get ready to fucking happen, right? You people, man, you you so called Black Latino Native American people, man, y'all better wake the hell up, man. Right? It says, and all the proud, yeah, and all they do wickedly shall be stubble. It says, in the day that cometh, uh, shall burn them up. Say of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, the Lord of armies, right? What does it mean when when a Lord when it says the Lord of armies it is the Lord of war, man? Right? It is the Lord of war. It says that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. This is you goddamn devils, man? Push, pushing his wicked out, put, pushing his wickedness out. You know? This is you goddamn devils, man? But this is this is America, right? They they're literally saying, man, destroy the West, destroy the West, because everybody's getting everybody's tired of this place, man. Everybody's tired of the U.S., right? But the U.S. isn't the only one that's going to catch this, right? The the U.S. is not the only one that's going to catch this catch this uh the the missiles, man, right? Uh, Isaiah chapter twenty four verse twenty. It says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. All right. It says and shall remove and shall be re removed like a cottage. And we, we know, you know what a cottage is. That's a like, a like a small house. And they said America as a whole is going to be removed as a cottage, man. Right. But it says the earth, the whole earth is not going to be destroyed. The earth will body forever. The earth was the earth was made for our for our sake. You know, he didn't. He's not going to create a, a a rock of full of life. You know, just to just to destroy it all, but the wickedness on on this certain rock, so called rock, right? So called rock because the earth is living, right? Um, it it abides forever, man, right? It, on this rock is wickedness that has to be destroyed, it has to be wiped off, and and that wickedness, the 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 um, epicenter of the wicked wickedness on the earth is America. Once America is destroyed, it breaks a huge chain, man. 
it breaks a huge chain. And then from there, from there, there goes the downfall of the of this man's power. You know? From there there goes the down. Well, we're witnessing the downfall of his of his power now. But from 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 there, once this put once this bitch is destroyed and once it's all done, that that's like that breaks everything. It's like a domino effect, right? It says, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. This place is not going to rise again, man. And this is what we're telling you, so-called black, Latino, and Native American people, that this place is not going to rise again. It says, and it shall come to pass that in, in that day that the Lord, Yahweh Baha Shemi Shai, shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth uh, upon the earth. Right. So that's the downfall of this man's power. So anyway, man, giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Shalom.